Hi everyone, we recently bought some of the new iPhone 12s and in this video we're going to be guiding you through the entire process of the teardown from start to finish. If you're unsure whether you have all the right tools for this teardown, don't worry, we've linked all the tools we're using this guide in the description below. Okay, so first you'll need to start by taking the SIM card tray out of the phone followed by taking the bottom two screws next to the charge port out. After this, you'll need to preheat the phone to loosen the adhesive between the housing and the screen. We preheated the phone for five minutes at 100 degrees C. Next, use a suction cup to start prying the screen away from the housing. It's important to connect the suction cup to the bottom of the screen as connecting to the middle can lead to the screen cracking. Once the suction cup is connected, you can use a thin piece of plastic along with IPA to help loosen the screen. It's worth noting that using IPA won't damage the electronics. Once the screen starts to loosen, you can use a prying tool or plastic card to pry it open. It's best to take your time with this and alternate between putting the phone on the heat and prying it open. This usually takes between 10 to 20 minutes to open the phone. Now the phone is open, you can start disassembling the internal parts. First you can take out the protective battery shield and the camera shield. I'm now disconnecting the battery and then the screen. I'm using my fingers, but you can also use a plastic pry tool. Next, you can start disassembling the bottom part of the phone, removing another protective shield and then disconnecting the SIM reader flex and antenna flex, followed by another protective shield. This then allows us to remove the SIM reader. Next you can disconnect the flex of the Taptic engine, otherwise known as the vibration motor, then remove the screws of the charging port and also the loudspeaker. This will allow you to move the loudspeaker followed by the Taptic engine.
You can then disconnect another protective shield. It's glued to the frame, but when you take the screws out, you can use a bit of force to take it out. You can then start removing the screws for the charge port. Next you can move to the rear camera so you can eventually disconnect the motherboard. You can start by removing the rear camera shield followed by disconnecting the flex cables for the rear camera. Next you're going to need to remove another shield, this one's plastic this time. I'm using a tweezer here to make sure I don't pull the LED flex and front camera flex as these are glued to the plastic shield. Here I'm disconnecting the front camera and LED flex. You'll need to use a spudger to pry them off as they're glued down. It's important to slide the camera off from the frame rather than pulling it straight up as it needs to disconnect from the plastic it's holding onto. Now you can disconnect the screws from the motherboard followed by disconnecting the charging port flex. Next you'll need to disconnect the antenna flex which is glued to the memory IC. I'm going to pry this off with a tweezer carefully. After this is done you can take the motherboard out. Sometimes this can be fiddly but if you give it a wiggle it should come out. You can now disconnect the LED flash flex, it's stuck to an adhesive so I'm using the tweezers to slowly disconnect it. Now I'm just starting to take the charging port flex away. Don't forget about the screws on the side.
There's a plastic bracket holding the microphone which you need to disconnect. You can see me doing that here, along with disconnecting both microphones from the chassis. Again, I'm using the IPA to help pry off the flex, just lift it up slowly and be patient. Once you've pried most of the flex, you can remove the bracket as it's holding the charging port down. It's glued to the frame so it might take some time to remove. Keep lifting it slowly and it should pop off. Now you'll be able to take the charge port flex fully off. After this you can start heating the phone up again so you can remove the battery. If you're setting it to 100 degrees C, you don't want to be holding the phone for too long because it'll get very very hot. After it's heated just start lifting the battery adhesive tabs so you can get to the adhesive and pull it away. You'll need to do this on the top side and the bottom side of the battery. Once you've removed some of the adhesive you can get access from the side by lifting the battery slightly and get it loose without any damage. The last thing we'll do is remove the antenna flex. If you want to put the phone back together again then just follow all of these steps but backwards. And that's it, I hope this has helped you with your teardown. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more teardowns from us.